2012, a post appears on Reddit asking, Have you ever felt a deep personal connection to a person you met in a dream, only to wake up feeling terrible because you realized they never existed? Answers poured in as only they can on Reddit, until a comment came in from user Timto Too Soon. The story he would tell would challenge preconceived notions about how the brain works and our collective place in the universe. To summarize, Timto Too Soon writes that in his last semester of college, he was assaulted and knocked unconscious while walking to class. Afterwards, he met a young woman and fell in love. After two years together, they got married. Soon after, they had a daughter. Two years after that, they had a son. Things were going well ten years into the relationship until one day he noticed something odd about a lamp. To quote Tempto too soon, One day, while sitting on the couch, I noticed that the perspective of the lamp was odd, like inverted. It was still in 3D, but just wrong. It was a square lamp base, red with gold trim on four legs and a white square shade. I was transfixed, I couldn't look away from it. I stayed up all night staring at it. The next morning I didn't go to work. Something was just not right about that lamp. I stopped eating. I left the couch only to use the bathroom at first. Soon I stopped that too, as I wasn't eating or drinking. I stared at that fucking lamp for three days before my wife got really worried. She had someone come and try to talk to me. By this time my cognizance was breaking, and my wife was freaking out. She took the kids to her mother's house just before I had my epiphany. The lamp is not real. The house is not real. My wife, my kids, none of this is real. The last 10 years of my life are not fucking real. The user then reports feeling intense pain and suddenly waking up on a sidewalk, missing teeth. He was still on the ground from where he was assaulted on his way to class. His wife and kids never existed. The entire decade he had experienced had never happened. He was taken to the hospital and given CT scans and other tests. He was released from the hospital into a life he didn't know. He reported suffering three years of depression and paranoia, wherein he would wake up crying, thinking he had gone insane. He missed his wife and children, and reported still seeing his son in public, out of the corner of his eye, perpetually five years old. Some users were quick to inform Timto Too Soon that what he experienced was impossible. Others weren't so quick to judge and shared their similar experiences caused by injury or illness. Curious, I reached out to a friend and medical student to ask if living a parallel life due to head trauma could happen. They shared their opinion, quote, brains can process things in a strange way. For example, your dreams last extremely short even if they appear long to you, and depending on the force of the blow, it could disrupt the consciousness, causing you to black out, and the dreaming could come from your brain trying to cope or analyze the situation. That being said, I don't think a simple punch would be enough. Maybe if it caused the person to fall and further damage their head." End quote. So, for now, it seems like until science reaches a point where this phenomenon can be studied and quantified, we're left to wonder just what is happening in the lands beyond consciousness as we know it. But, what do you think? Did a man live a complete alternate life in his head, or was this just a bit of creative writing? Let me know in the comments or on Twitter at Dread the Unsolved. I'm also on Instagram and Facebook. Also, I'm now on TikTok, 
You can find me at Dread the Unsolved, where I post videos of mysteries just a little too small to make a full video out of. If you dig this content, consider liking and subscribing. Thanks for watching.